Another vital area the catcher is responsible for is that of fielding foul pop-ups. Any of the area back here in foul territory, the catcher is responsible for catching balls in that area. The first thing you want the catcher to do is be able to get rid of her mask properly. And coaches, you laugh about that, but it's very difficult for some young catchers to get the concept of getting rid of that mask and taking it off. Finally, we've got them used to taking the mask off. Now they just throw it and they turn around to catch a the foul ball and trip over it on their way. So when you're talking about fielding foul pop-ups, we want to ask them to get rid of the mask and hold on to it for just a second. Now we turn and find the ball and we toss the mask in the other direction. It's very important because we don't want anything getting in their way. And now, from after we've found the ball, we're going to turn our back on the field. And we're going to field the ball or catch the ball with our back to our players. Because hopefully, we've got some other players that are running towards them to try to help them out. If the catcher sees these other players running towards them, it's going to be a bit of a distraction to them. So we're going to turn our back on them. We're going to let her call the ball and make the catch. When we make that catch, we want to make the catch with the glove in the up position. This is very important so that if we do bobble the catch or we have any kind of a, any chance of not making the catch in this position, we always have a secondary possibility of getting a basket catch and getting under it. This is the best way to catch a foul ball whenever it's possible. Now, obviously, there's going to be some foul balls we're not going to be able to get to with the glove in the up position. We're going to have to catch them any way possible. So let's see how Susie does in fielding some foul pop-ups.